my channel. Today's video is a what I eat in a day. Everything I'm eating as a pregnant lady. He is a growing boy. I'm a growing lady and I'm about five months pregnant now. So four more to go. But basically being pregnant is quite an adventure. Every day there's a new craving or there's just something that you've been loving that you just want again and again. So it's about 11 and I usually like to eat a little bit later in the morning. I don't know why. First trimester, totally different story. I had to eat something like within the first hour or so of being awake because I felt very nauseous if I didn't have a little something in my stomach. But now that that feeling has gone away, I have been waiting until I just feel hungry and I'm ready and I have the energy to go ahead and prepare something. So let's get started with breakfast. This is so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. To quickly show you guys what I'm wearing, just this really big extra large men's tee. I got a three pack. Um, honestly, I'm obsessed with how big and comfy it is. It's so just like, can't get more basic than this. And I don't really care about being basic, being at home and trying to just remain comfortable. I'm also wearing these biker shorts that I wore a lot pre-pregnancy. They still fit. They are normally high-waisted, but I've just had to like pull them under my belly as it's growing, which is a little uncomfortable, but what's a girl going to do? I'm wearing this really cool scrunchie that I upcycled from an old ratty shirt that was just not in good shape anymore. So I'm going to start work on a couple of things that I need to get going. Since it's Monday morning, I have some lists to make, some planning to do, some um, errands to run, and I'm gonna catch up with you guys at lunch. Okay, I'm getting hungry again, so I'm going to have a little snack. It's a lot later in the afternoon, but something that has been a go-to snack for me in pregnancy has been cheese and crackers. I just got these white cheddar cheese chunks and I'm gonna put them with these blue diamond almond crackers the creamy ranch flavor or I mean sorry the country ranch flavor I'm not gluten-free or anything but I really really just like the flavor of these crackers okay that's what I'm gonna snack on lemonade for an afternoon pick-me-up. I think it's like a combination of sugar and caffeine really gets me going, but it is so easy and delicious. Sometimes I'll have like two cups of coffee, and yes, I know in pregnancy you're supposed to limit your caffeine, but some days I'll have two cups, that's it. Some days I'll just have one cup and then a matcha. Okay, so while we're sipping on this, I just want to sit down and just share my pregnancy experience related to food. 
hopefully, um, I don't know, a little bit of my experience can help you guys if you're experiencing pregnancy right now and weird cravings and just to give you a little insight if you've never been pregnant, what it's actually like. So I found out I was pregnant the beginning of January and it kind of came as a shock. I just kept waiting and waiting for my period, just assuming, oh, it's coming, it's coming. Lo and behold, it never came, which is totally great. My husband and I were thrilled, but we also weren't trying. So it was a little bit of a shock because it was like extremely real at that point. So once the first couple weeks of January started to pass, I could really tell I was pregnant. Not because my body was already changing or I could like feel the baby, but I was really having those symptoms that are not pleasant during your first trimester. Specifically, just feeling nauseous. I felt like I had to eat a small snack every couple hours just to not feel sick. I would get off of work and literally come home and lay in my bed and just for hours just lay there. Nothing sounded good. Everything I normally love to eat, I hated. I couldn't even think about it. The only things I can really say I turned to quite frequently were ramen noodles. I would get the little cups of, um, I forget the brand, but they were like at Sprouts and stuff like that, but you just mix hot water. They were super bland, so I loved them. I was into mac and cheese. Um, I wanted things like mashed potatoes, nothing spicy at all. Vegetables are absolutely disgusting to me. I could not even look at them. I didn't ever get sick. I just felt really nauseous and really run down with low energy. I slept so much, but these are all very common things. So once my second trimester hit, things started to turn around. I have not got that burst of energy back. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm not as active because we've been staying at home. But I haven't got like that pregnancy like, whew, let's go, let's do this, that a lot of moms talk about in the second trimester. At least when it comes to food, there's been things I've like just thoroughly loved. Like my palate is all over the place. Some days I'm craving Mexican food. Some days I'm like just craving a cheeseburger with fries. Some days I want like, a fruit bowl with like loads of peanut butter granola um, I've been really into these little taquitos lately that are just so good I love spicy again breakfast I've really been loving oatmeal mixed with banana peanut butter a little bit of maple syrup I still really love my eggs but more so with feta cheese and hot sauce for lunch I've been trying to be healthier and incorporate more salads but sometimes um, it'll be like a chicken salad sandwich or a BLT for a while there I was all about peanut butter and jelly even now um, this morning I had peanut butter and jelly on a blueberry bagel with a banana and it was heavenly dinners I've been loving the other day I was just so over making dinner all I did was boil some spaghetti and then I made like a quick garlic sauce. Agioli, I think is how you say it. Pasta agioli. But anyway, it was just saute garlic with olive oil. I tossed up the pasta with it and then I plated it with Parmesan cheese on top. Oh my gosh, it was so simple but literally so good. I loved it so much that I made it again for lunch the next day, the very same dish. So um, other things I've been loving for dinner, pretty much any kind of like rice bowl, whatever veggie I may have, basmati rice, and then whatever protein I'm feeling. Um, just basically you assemble a bowl and it's really satisfying and filling and it's just like a healthier dinner, I guess you could say, um, at least in my eyes. And sometimes it can be less prepping, which is really, really nice because some days it just don't feel like it. 
for those really lazy days i like just to have a frozen pizza on hand because pizza is just oh so good so let's see what else what else so snacks i am a bad snack person i crave those gross just nasty things and i think part of the reason i want them so bad is because i didn't ever snack like this before and i forgot like how delicious some of these snacks are also sour gummy worms are so good i love when i get my hands on a pack of those they're just so yummy and so delicious all i can say about pregnancy is even if you're prepared or not it's definitely a humongous transformation not only in your body but your mindset and don't be surprised if you're craving the weirdest things ever because literally the cravings change all the time and most importantly don't beat yourself up if you are craving these things because you're only pregnant for a short short period of your life and once you have your baby everything will eventually bounce back and you can definitely take a little bit more control over the things that you're eating in a much better way and i'm not saying being pregnant you throw self-control out the window i'm just saying for me personally it is a lot easier for me just to allow those indulgences you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're feeling bad because your body's going to change regardless you're going to gain weight regardless and everybody is just going through a different journey so just try to take it easy on yourself and don't beat yourself up too much but be mindful because obviously the healthier choices you make are better for the little baby inside of you okay all this talk of food is making me extremely hungry again so for lunch i'm gonna make a vietnamese style salad with rice noodles and fresh veggies and um tofu actually i really feel like tofu sounds so good today i'm gonna finish up this drink and we will get to chopping some veggies okay so here's the setup i'm gonna need some lime some jalapeno, not that many jalapenos. Those are for something else as well. Cucumber, also going to get some romaine lettuce and we are going to cook up some rice noodles and chop up some tofu, which is already cooked that I got from the grocery store. And then we are going to make the sauce, which is like um, rice vinegar, fish sauce, um, garlic, and some other stuff. Oh my gosh, she's just too cute. and fresh and refreshing. Oh so it's seven o'clock and I'm gonna make dinner and we're making a sausage veggie pasta.
looks pretty delicious. <laughs> the light is so bad. So dinner was really, really good, but I'm still craving something sweet. So I think I'm gonna make a yogurt parfait type of thing, and then I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'm gonna chill out and go So we're just gonna use these three things: Greek yogurt, lemon curd, and granola. And there we go. Nice little healthy-ish dessert. Mix it all together. Mm -hmm. 